I'm good to go. Well, hi all. Uh, welcome to our little webinar. Um, just going to pause a moment and uh, make sure. Hopefully, everybody's been able to connect and join us uh, on our first little podcast. So, I am Simon Needham. I'm one of the sales managers at uh, Colbus Auto Box, and with me is Aaron. And Aaron's going to uh, introduce the topic that we're going to be talking about today. Um, so Aaron, I think, let's just check it. Yeah, I think most people are here. Uh, let's go. Thank you, Si. So welcome again, and, and thank you for joining Simon and I. Uh, today, what we wanted to talk you through were the capabilities of our UK manufactured auto box box maker, highlighting why it is an ideal solution for producing short to medium run lengths of packaging to ensure maximum profitability. Thanks, Aaron. Um, we're going to kick off with just a short video showing some of the, the boxes uh, that can be produced on the machine. Here we've got pretty much the smallest going on pretty much uh, the largest, so it shows you the range that we can produce. Then, after this, we're moving on to one of the more or most complicated boxes, what would normally be a it's eye cut box, but actually produced on the machine without tooling. And then, finally, moving on to an 0401 box. Again, normally requiring tooling, but in this case, the machine does it automatically. And then just one with a little bit of the flexo print to show the versatility of the machine. That's great, thank you, Sam. So, who are Colbus? Might be a new name to a lot of you. Um, Colbus are a German engineering and manufacturing facility located in Raden, uh, an hour west of Hanover. They employ around 800 staff and boast their very own foundry to manufacture their own high quality cast components. An engineering company at heart, uh, recent events have seen Colbus move away from their position as a world leader in manufacturing perfect binding machinery for books and diversify more in towards packaging, both luxury and corrugated. In late 2018, Colbus purchased British Converting Solutions, or you might know them as BCS, thus Autobox. So, yeah, auto box. Thanks, Aaron. I've been um, producing short run box making machines since '79. Uh, they're one of the very earliest machines for this market in in the world. Um, all the mechanical design, the software, uh, components manufacturing, and machine assembly is housed under one roof in Hatton Regis, which is it's about an hour north from London, uh, and naturally. Colbus is a worldwide team of uh, service engineers to commission uh, machines and train the customers and also uh, to help in the event of, uh, of any issues. So our most well-known product is the standalone auto box. A 60 second set, slot increase, uh, it can convert up to 2.6 meters on its decal by unlimited length on its chop down to around 300 millimeters on its decal uh, by 100 millimeters on its chop and an infinite combination between. This unit requires board that is cut to size or bought in from the mill exact to size. It then spits out the bespoke blank ready to be shipped or finished. As a concept, it hasn't changed much, but as a mechanical construction, it is worlds apart from previous generations. One of the auto box's best features is its modularity. You can tailor set it to suit your requirements. Ultimately, you can grow your machine as your short run business grows. Other modules include our multi-cut, a unit that enables us to work from stock board, produce 0401s like Simon has shown you in the previous video without tooling, produce drop down windows in pallet boxes or any other line of work, um, or even add multi scores to your product in line. You can add one or two uh, flexo units for up to two color work or large format 
Um, but the key thing about the Flexo print is that it has a minimum repeat distance of only around 300 millimeters due to its servo drive technology. Uh, finally, as the picture shows, you can finish your machine line by adding automation either on the front, on the back, or both to give you a completely operatorless system. Thanks. I, so that's the, the machines in, in, in brief. Uh, but what, a, what can you produce on our box maker? The possibilities with the auto box are, are close to endless. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, looking at the, the, the picture we've got here, it's a range of O2O1s, dividers, dividers in O2O1s, window cutouts, hand holes, self-erecting trays, printed boxes and, and wraps. Um, our, operate, our operator interface contains well over 50 of the most popular FEFCO styles already programmed for simplicity of use. 90% of the boxes produced are auto set. A few more complicated designs require manual adjustment, but we like to pride ourselves on eliminating the possibility for human error during setups. I think because the machine is auto set, it reduces the chance of, of wasting product when producing smaller run lengths of one, ten, a hundred. Uh, they're high value boxes, and it's imperative that each uh, box is spot on. And another nice feature of the auto set technology is the ability to send jobs from the office down to the machine um, a, a, as they're being uh, generated. Um, so all the operator really needs to do is, is look for, for what is the next job on, on, on the list. I love this photo. It adds scale and value to our argument. Many people underestimate the capabilities of our machines. They don't realize it can produce a box bigger than the largest case maker or printer slotter, and also smaller too, but within such a smaller footprint. Imagine producing these particular designs within a matter of minutes, dispatched within 24 or 48 hours. So, because the machines are so flexible, producing an array of, of, of nuisance quantities, grade sizes and styles, it just all becomes so much more simple. It turns the work into quick set, easy run, single pass, toolless, uh, high margin, boxes. Absolutely. And there are some key money makers um, that seem, seem to stand out to sheep plants, such as jumbo, three-part boxes, trays, lids, sleeves, pallet boxes, hand holes, large five-panel folders, uh, such as 0409s, 0411s, and, and designs like 0401s again. Again, we, I know we're talking a lot about the 0401, but as an example, you instantly don't require tooling. That can save you 200, 300, 400 pounds alone. Your, your set time is two minutes. Compare this to a, to a hand-fed platen or a semi-automatic die cutter or an automatic die cutter. Our run speeds can be up to 300 boxes per hour on this type, type of work. Without tooling, you, you instantly give and, and offer the advantage of being able to offer uh, such smaller minimum orders or, or none. Um, you improve your reaction speeds you, and you, you free up capacity on, on the higher volume machines to ensure better margin and better capacity all round. Yeah, it's all true. And, and you know, we've talked a lot about the short run work. What I feel is, is equally as relevant and impressive is the machine's ability to run more than, than samples in short run. You know, with an average run rate of four or five hundred an hour, you're really not limited to producing uh, small quantities. You know, a few of our customers will still run one, two thousand boxes. Uh, sometimes the auto box might either be the only piece of kit or, or, or other machi volume machinery is already in use. So, you know, you can still win valuable contracts. No, absolutely. And, and you know, attached here are a couple of photos of our Flexo <clears throat> printing one and two color. We, we underestimated the power of print actually at some point in line with our with our auto box. There were so many customers that, that, that took us up and decided to opt for this unit to not only produce higher volumes, but also batches of 50. Um, what this enabled them to do was take work off their printer slotters, case makers of the batches of 200, 400, 500,000, sometimes more than that, as Simon's pointed out, uh, and produce high quality, large format boxes 
uh, offline on our machine as opposed to, again, <coughs> taking capacity on, on their larger volume um, machines. So here it is just a nice video which summarizes how easy it is to set up and run uh, the auto box. Uh, I'd just point out we didn't have a lapel mic when we were we were organizing this at short notice, so the, the sound could be improved. But I, you know, you you'll get the general idea. What we've got in here is a range of pre-programmed job styles, from 0201s to trays and lids, 0400 range Maltese crosses, five panel folders, 0409s and 0411s, and then you have the application to, to build your own box through a pad or self-design. So with our machinery, it's as quick and easy as entering the thickness of the board, single wall, through to the internal dimensions of your product, B25, 278 by 230 for the glue flap of 35mm. As soon as, soon as you, you press next, next, it asks you what size is your board. We're working from a product that is cut to size, size, so 1255 by 20. What we're going to do is reset the machine from the previous job and set it up for the brand new job. As soon as you press go, the fence is about to move, the slot away jump is about to move, and the wide shot is about to move. Everyone's happy. 
That's impressive work, Mr. Aaron. Well done. Um, but <clears throat> we've been talking about the machines. Uh, but don't take our word for it. You know, we'd like to share a couple of our customers' experiences with the machines, starting off with uh, White Rose, who's uh, in the north of England. Uh, and they've been using their machines for probably over 20 years now. And their service revolves around quick deliveries of orders, and to do this, they rely very heavily on the auto box machines. They maintain their good margins by offering a service that gives the customer exactly the correct size boxes, correct style, as and when they need them. Uh, they currently actually have four of our machines um, and have added a new machine fairly recently that enables them to produce the corner cut boxes in one pass. And the important thing there is this compares to what could be up to eight operations previously. So they've saved a lot of time and, and, and labor. Yeah, and, and similar to White Rose Packaging, ASC, um, they're very much well known for their online uh, presence. Their facility produces over around 200 jobs a day with a turnaround speed of 24 to 48 hours nationwide. They boast around three to four Autobox machines as well. Um, and the, their machine that they recently invested in is doing over 60 sets a day, uh, 2,000 boxes a shift. That's an average run length of around 33 boxes. Now, I skip across, across the ponds to, to America and, and Welsh packaging. Uh, Welsh packaging actually have around uh, over 10 different manufacturing sites in the US and employ around 800 staff. I actually did a stint of work experience at Welsh packaging a few year, years ago, which was interesting. They, they reported losing value, valuable accounts worth over $500,000 because they couldn't cater for their short run work sufficiently. We placed our auto box side by side next to a Gotford box maker. And I, I remember our machine was running around uh, twice the speed. It was set up uh, around 15 minutes quicker and it took up around one third of the space. Um, I believe they ended up moving that machine onto a, another facility because it couldn't cope with the demands. <clears throat> Okay. Um, and finally, a little video which shows the, the, the full line of the machine work. This is uh, a machine. Sorry for pausing, shouldn't have any problems. Uh, this is running in Australia. Uh, it was installed about four years ago, uh, and the focus of their box making was on large format, big boxes. Uh, prior to having the auto box, some uh, or many of the boxes had to be made in two pieces of board. So not only did you have to run twice as many boards through the machine, but after that it also made the finishing and the stitching uh, a far more complicated process. So now uh, the whole line is simplified, so you're seeing more from a pallet being process printed on the line and placed on the pallet. Uh, so it really is a, a, a very good way to say combination. Okay, so again, going back to, to what short run is and, and where it's come from, well, it's not new. Uh, there's always been a requirement, but, but right now it's a sector with it's experiencing double digit growth pretty much year on year on year and much of the growth is down to consumerism and e-commerce it's it's a relatively cheap material it's got good structural qualities it can be printed on and it's environmentally kind i mean kind of what's not to like the, however the market 
and the consumers, you know, they, they are developing and they're demanding better fitting, stronger, more personalized, uh, what we would call frustration free packaging. Uh, and this demand then really moves upstream for box suppliers to require uh, in order to, to satisfy this demand, they, they need more automated inline box making machinery in order to compete, but more, more significantly in order to maintain the margins that they're, they're used to. So here we would look then at other machines that can produce short run, but, but each one has strengths and weaknesses. So we'll start off with the very traditional rotary slitter and beam slotter. You know, they're cheap as chips. You can buy them secondhand. Their setup time's all right, but really they're so manual and the production speed is very, very slow um, and pretty limited in the styles that it can do. It's, it's the old school way of doing it. It, it. It's not the 21st century, that's for sure. Yeah, through to something like a, a CAD table, where the investment is, is a little bit more expensive. You've got options for automation there. Obviously, the set time is very quick, but the production speed is, is very slow. Um, ideal for picking up batches of ones, twos, fives, maybe of, of, of value uh, FSDUs or point of sale work, something like that. Um, the box sizes uh, are okay um, on a CAD table. The, the box styles are very good. Uh, but it does require an element of skill and design to, to run these machines. Yeah. And then when you take the, uh, another sort of old school piece of kit, the roller press, the ro ro roller die press, which again is, is, is you know, very little investment. The setup time is good. It's usually a two man operation, a sort of push pull. Um, size wise can be good, but the larger you go, the bigger the footprint. In terms of box styles, yeah, you can produce anything, but everything requires its own die tool, and there's not only the cost that's uh, you know associated with that; it's the lead times that are involved. On the plus side, pretty much anybody can run it without experience, uh, you know. No, absolutely, and and from one end of the scale to the other, really, looking at a printer slotter again, the investment can be quite significant. Um, the set time on them is obviously considerable, uh, but a production speed output is, 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 is brilliant, it's very good. Uh, it, it can be limited to box sizes. Again, Simon's comment uh, that the larger the print slot, the, the more room it takes up. The, the style that it produces is quite limited um, and then requires a, a, a reasonably skilled operator to run it. Yeah. And a, a similar output, uh, but a slightly different beast is the rotary die cut uh, set time. You know, it, it, it does take a while um, and the tooling is, is very expensive. But once you have set it, you can produce all sorts of different shapes, sizes of box. Um, but it, it's, it's the cost uh, that, that, that's involved in the setup time. When you compare all of that to our box maker, where the level of investment is very reasonable, the set time is very quick, the production speed is, is, is good, um, but it has a, a large portfolio of, of box sizes and styles that you can produce, and, and, you, and still you don't require that level of, of skilled operator as such to, to set it, to run it, to watch it on a 24-7 basis. So that's why we feel that our box making machine sits in a really nice niche there for picking up this short to, to medium run work. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and following on from that, I, I, you know, a quick look at the thing that we've probably mentioned most, which is setup time. And it, it is key. Production speed is important, but the setup time is, is king. So we're looking now at how, for the different four machines, what the comparison is between the set time as the batch quantity increases. So you, you can see really... Um, when you're looking at 300 and below, there's nothing that really touches a short run box maker in terms of productivity. Um, the one that, you know, a CAD table um, is, is never anywhere near. The CAD table is good when you've got absolutely you know, sample boxes, prototypes of, of what are going to be die cuts. Um, the printer slot of sweet spot comes in at around 400 boxes. So we can say that really for batches of 400 and below, there is no better tool for producing short run is, is what we're trying to sort of uh, lead you on to.
Is that me, me? Is it? I thought it was you next. Okay. Now I tell you what. I, that, that we've we've almost got to the end, and that's the first time I haven't been on point. So apologies, everybody. I'm going to seamlessly move on and go. Well, folks, the chances are <laughs> most sheep plants are already using some form of printer slaughter, CAD table beam slaughter to produce short run. We we see that our short run machinery enables sheep plants to convert the nuisance work effectively by being quick set. It's easy to use, toolless. It's it's just versatile compared to the alternatives, which often take three or four processes to 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 complete the same work. We're doing so well then as well, aren't we? Nah, <laughs> carry on. Well, the production speed um, or boxes per hour, as Simon mentioned, it becomes slightly less important when discussing lower quantities. We've seen it's more about producing exactly what you want when you want it, and ensuring you maintain as much margin. As possible by having the right tool for the job. Mm. Ultimately, we, we see there being two cases here for our machinery. One, ensuring that maximum margin when producing short runs by having the, the fastest set, most flexible machine. And, and number two, by freeing up capacity on larger volume uh, or die cut machines to do what they do best. So I suppose that brings us to the end of our presentation. I, I hope you've, you've, you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed what you've, what you've seen and what you've read. Uh, we look forward to addressing any questions or comments uh, in, the, in the live chat afterwards. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I, I hope there's something in there that was of interest to all. Um, yeah, and we do look forward to fielding whatever questions you may have for the next few minutes or so. So, Mr. Aaron, we'd pause there and then we would go into what, it, however we do the live chat afterwards, which would be essentially this again. Yep, cool. So, hey, Si, that was smashing. I'm going to...